From the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark The Pharisees approached Jesus and asked, Is it lawful for a husband to divorce his wife? They were testing him. He said to them in reply, What did Moses command you? They replied, Moses permitted a husband to write a bill of divorce and dismiss her. But Jesus told them, Because of the hardness of your hearts, He wrote you this commandment. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. In the house, the disciples again questioned Jesus about this. He said to them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And if she divorces her husband and marries another, she commits adultery. And people were bringing children to him that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he became indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Amen, I say to you. Whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. Then he embraced them and blessed them placing his hands on them. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's readings talk about the beautiful institution of marriage, where God deigned that the two become one flesh. In Genesis chapter 2 verse 18, God said, It is not good for man to be alone. After he made the woman, the man exclaimed in admiration and beauty, This one is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh means someone who is intimately related to me. Someone who is a part of my very being, the one whom I want to be with as long as I live. The mystery of a man and a woman becoming one flesh is intended to express and reflect the union that God desires with us in His covenant of love. In the Hebrew Scriptures, God often uses the metaphor of marriage to describe his relationship with his people. He is the husband and the people his bride. He wants the covenantal relationship between him and his people to be present in every marriage. The sacramental band of marriage gives strength to the union between a man and a woman. Unfortunately, God's original plan for marriage has not been fully accepted even by the Hebrew people because of the hardness of their heart. Even in our present time, some of our brothers and sisters do not believe in the sacrament of marriage anymore. Maybe they have lost faith in marriage, even in love. But the sacramental band 
gives strength and unity to marriage. The testimony of fruitful married love, when it is correctly understood and lived out, is indeed very beautiful. As Jesus said, Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must put asunder. So when the Pharisees asked Jesus whether it is lawful for a husband to divorce his wife, he quickly takes the occasion to call the people back to God's original plan for marriage, which, more than procreation, it is intended to reflect the covenantal love that he has with his people. He is revealing what marriage truly is. Faithful love in marriage is always fruitful. It is a concrete sign of God's faithful love for the world of today. True love will bear fruit even amidst obstacles. In our union with God, He will never leave us no matter how infidel we are. Truly, it is selfishness and pride that makes love sterile. Now, we pray for all families the world over. We pray that all families can live out their God-given mission and vocation, that of bringing God's love and God's life to the world. Amen.